Live from Bethesda, Maryland, where the winters are hard and the cookies are soft, this is the Robert Dyer Channel Christmas Countdown 2021. And now, here's a man who thinks cranberry sauce should only ever come out of a can, Robert Dyer. Hi everybody, Robert Dyer, and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer Channel Christmas Countdown, where tonight I have a product that is double special for Christmas, because it's not only a Christmas theme limited edition product, but it's also only available at Food Lion. And this is a rare time that a Mountain Dew flavor exclusive to a store or restaurant or something has been available to me. And this is the Mountain Dew Uproar. And if you haven't guessed already, the Roar reference and the lion on the package design is of course playing off of the Food Lion exclusive. Now I normally don't go to Food Lion only when I'm down south do I go to Food Lion and I have to say I do like the Food Lion stores. They have some products you can't get at Giant or Safeway and I also want to say I hope everyone watching my channel is safe after the terrible tornadoes and other storms that have hit so many states. I know I have viewers in those states. I don't know if any of them live in the towns that were the worst hit. If you do, you're probably not even able to watch this right now, but I hope everybody is alright. Here's a closer look at the packaging. First of all, you can see it's very much a Christmas color oriented design. You've got the green and the red and it also happens to apply to the kiwi berry. I'm assuming they mean strawberry. So you have multiple purposes for the color scheme here. Let's zoom in here. Here you have the, I guess the uh, Lion, got the sharp claws, the sharp teeth, fur is all messed up. There you've got a kiwi hidden behind the logo there, Mountain Dew Uproar, charged with berry kiwi naturally and artificially flavored and then I guess that's the tail flapping around the other side another kiwi fruit another kiwi fruit and then you have these nice Christmas lights going along the top and bottom of the border of the label So it's not quite up there with the gingerbread snapped or the frostbite in terms of the complexity of the artwork, but it's pretty good, especially for the themes here. And you can see this is just slightly lower than some of the highest sugar Mountain Dews, 72 grams of sugar in the bottle and caffeine content 91 milligrams in the 20 ounces there's a Christmas Mountain Dew logo and this was bottled and purchased New York let's pop the top here I have this chilled in my Mountain Dew cooler to the precise temperature for the highest quality and the aroma it 
Well, it pretty much smells like what you would imagine. Kind of like those non-carbonated kiwi strawberry juice drinks. Let's go ahead and try to pour it into the finest bachelor's glassware. And we can see that, well, first let me get the cap on. Let me keep the uh, carbonation in there. You can see it pretty much looks like what you saw. It's almost a peach color in the light now, which I would certainly like to have a peach Mountain Dew at some point, but. Now that I think about it, didn't we already, speaking of exclusive flavors, the KFC wasn't that peach, that was wonderful. I think you go back on my channel, there's a review of that, I'm totally blanking on the name of it, but it was a KFC exclusive, uh, something like lightning, sweet lightning, white lightning. Well, let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Well, it's not the sweetest Mountain Dew. You know how some of them have that sort of candy syrup level of sweetness. This is one of those ones that's more like a juice in the, for lack of a better word, the texture of it. It's a generic but accurate kiwi strawberry. I'm actually pretty clearly tasting the old traditional Mountain Dew in there. A lot of times with the special flavors I can't detect it as strongly. Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the historic Springwood Theater for the annual Frosty Flicks fundraiser that keeps this old movie house from going out of business. I know it's been a tough year in Springwood. The job losses, the unsolved disappearances, the mysterious flying objects appearing over the town. But I know our lineup of classic films will raise your spirits and you can be assured that all popcorn will be buttered according to the Ohio squirting laws. In a few minutes, we'll be screening the Garbage Pale Kids movie, followed by Mac and Me, Mannequin 2 on the Move, and finally a feature presentation of Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. But before we begin, it's time to recognize our annual Man of the Year. For 2021, it is Fred Krueger. At Fred's request, his monetary reward of $250 will be donated in full to the Hathaway House Asylum for the Criminally Insane right here in Springwood. Coincidentally, I'll be conducting interviews there tomorrow to find Bob's future wife. So on behalf of the mayor, let me present this distinguished plaque to Fred, a school teacher, a boiler room operator, a family man. Let's have a warm Springwood welcome for Fred Krueger. Come on up here, Fred. Well, I would say I don't expect that this flavor is going to dethrone the gingerbread snapped as the official drink of Christmas this year. It's definitely an accurate, what they call berry kiwi. It doesn't have the Christmas specific flavor to put you in the Christmas spirit like the gingerbread or the previous cranberry flavor, but it's certainly something 
just to have bragging rights if you have Food Lion where you are. I don't know if any of you work at Food Lion. I'm sure some of you live where there's a Food Lion. My favorite part is when they announce over the speakers that the truck is approaching and they'll say it's X number of minutes away and then they have to get some people to run to the back of the store to get ready to unload. They do not do that at Giant or Safeway in my area. Seems like maybe they have less people working and they have to get people to come from other parts of the store to unload. At Giant, for example, here, they're constantly trucks coming in and out, and I think they've got people back there just doing that. But in any case, I like Food Lion, and this is certainly a nice special promotion for Food Lion. It's apparently the only place you can get it at the moment. I am going to give this for the nice uh, Christmas packaging scheme pretty good flavor, or I'm going to go ahead and give this four stars out of five. Four stars, because I think you're going to feel that way if you've got Food Lion in your neighborhood. Hope you like this video. Share it with your friends. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time tomorrow on this Christmas countdown. Bye, everybody.